allegedly stolen from an underground facility named Dulcy. It shows aliens in containers of liquid and the alleged fats of feeding substances. You can see in the film footage the alleged hybrids growing in vats or containers, which could be reptiloid or gray aliens. The Dulcy New Mexico underground base has UFO seen in the every night. Cattle have been mutilated, cut with a laser knife. This information comes from people working at the base, who were kidnapped or abducted and taken there and then released. Also people who helped to construct it and people who were working with the intelligence community there. The facility is a biogenetics lab and is connected to Los Alamos by underground, the first site of the atom bombs experiments. It's always been a high security research area for the U.S. government. There's an underground connection by subway or tube shuttle to Los Alamos. The research there is about genetics and research into other intelligent species and the comparison between human and alien biology. Their research indicates centuries ago that the aliens that entered into a contract with a secret group called the Illuminati, one of the chief implanters, someone that works in secret to control you mentally was Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Illuminati in Germany. The United States government entered into a contract with the aliens in the 40s or earlier to exchange high technology research with to give animals and humans to the aliens. At the end of the 40s the alien operations shifted from South America to the United States West because of this agreement that was made with the US government. The aliens wanted these underground bases and because of the magnetic and plasma effects of some of the minerals of the rocks in that area were vital for them. They have to have something that produces a high electromagnetic energy field for their saucers, so they need the raw materials for that to keep things going. These people who worked there said that the aliens themselves regard themselves as an old people who originally came from Earth. They were human reptilian hybrids. They told the U.S. government this and our representatives of an alien nation and are returning to Earth to use it for a staging operations area but didn't reveal what for exactly. But other aliens do not agree about this. They built an alien bases in Dulce, Colorado, Arizona, Nevada, and others in the rest of the world, maybe in Antarctica, Russia, Pyrenees, Upper Norway, etc. There have been some very strange underground projects being done costing billions. In 1947 the residents of Dulce saw many many troops going in and out of the area, many many trucks and construction equipment and that the signs on the trucks were from a non-existent lumber company in Colorado. The bases were constructed by the Rand Corporation with a tunneling machine that melts the rock and then makes a smooth wall out of it for high speed shuttles to be put in. There are over 100 of these secret underground places that have been constructed including one on the back of the moon, another on Mars. A construction man was asked to work at Dulce but needed to agree to chemical erasure of memory first when he finished, so he refused. Other construction companies involved were aerospace companies and Bechtel Corporation, well connected with the CIA. They are linked up with the Trilateral Commission, the power behind the government, with Kissinger and the Illuminati and also the Council of Foreign Relation People in Europe, known as the Bilderbergers. They tell elected officials what to do. Dulce has at least seven different underground levels, and there are about 18,000 aliens down there and probably 20,000 or so human slaves. Level 1 has the control room with security and communications. There are over 9,000 televisions and spy cameras around this, and human staff housing. Executive offices and laboratories for scientists, etc. Level 4 has mind-controlled experiments on humans. Level 5 is the alien housing for the greys and reptiloids. Level 6 has genetic large-scale experiments to change human beings genetically to enable work in dangerous environments such as radioactivity, outer space and maybe even underwater and that is also a zoo. They have the experiments, the results of the experiments in cages down there. On level 7 they have cryogenic laboratories, cold storage vats for the failed experiments. An implanter is a person who tries to control you mentally by inserting things into your body to control you. Genetic manipulations, but all secret. The trilateral insignia, a black triangle on a red background, is for the Andromedans, because the gray aliens that the nations of the world have made an agreement with, including the USA, are from Andromeda, the next galaxy. The pyramid with the eye in it is the Illuminati symbol and is the Dulce base symbol. Genetic experiments have been perfected to the degree that we already have a disposable slave.
race of clones. From a small fetus, they make many copies of the same thing and have no parents so the government owns them. There are thousands of adult human beings who look exactly alike. There are many hundreds and they work in the military only. When starting this, the American government asked women to do experiments in genetics if they were sterile. And then they would remove the fetus after three months, take it back to the lab here and grow it up in a controlled environment in the experiment. But what they put into the womb of the woman may have been some cross between an alien and a human or five or six clones. They had to develop it for three months in a woman so they could then pick it up into their laboratory technology. The Defense Advanced Research Project Agency DARPA set up the mind control experiments to control humans and some of the products of their labs at a distance. Some had transmitters taken out of their heads and photographed them or had them x-rayed still in there. They were experimented on outside the lab to see how they could be controlled in society. It also it is easier to control all of them because it is a very closed area. There are radio transmitters now right through all the areas. But they used to have to follow people initially with transmitting devices from country to country. It is called Rikidum, Radio Hypnotic Inner Cerebral Control, in the middle of the cerebral areas of the brain. When you radio transmit it, you can hear the vibrations or the words or the thoughts coming through. Electronic dissolution of memory is requested when asked to sign the contract for Dulce. Chemical erasure of memory or any electronic one. In Sweden, they put them in people in hospitals, old people's homes and criminals. They drug the coffee in the jail and put one in to keep track, without permission. Hitler gave permission to insert brain transmitters into the heads of humans covertly without telling them. This was done in US, Russia and Finland too. The CIA, FBI, deal the secret government with the CFR and the Trilateral Commission and they are planning to stage an alien contact landing in the near future. Meeting them openly but it's just a show. With genetic research on level 6, they say it's the most important thing that humanity's been working on for a long time. Taking a single human embryo, bringing it up in the laboratory to a full-formed whatever all the way through. They don't need a woman anymore to do it. The scientists think of all the endless possibilities, for example, we can create our own race. Of human polymorphic reptiloid clones, all the files from the experimental laboratories in Nazi Germany were captured by the Americans, and they started on their implant program. They don't want you to know you have a spirit, or Thetan, so that you can be controlled by genetic and mind control experiments without your spirit stopping it, like a clone. One person that worked at Dulce saw human alien and human animal combinations in cages alive. People are humans with wings, many legs, claws for hands or different web feet, etc. There were crosses between various species of animals in the experimental laboratories in the zoo. Many of them could cry tears and ask for help in Earth language. The workers were told that these people were insane and genetic freaks and not to talk to them that they were involved in high drug experiments secured their insanity. The people first believed this, but they were drugged to be quiet. Before they let the man out the top here they have to erase his memory, however it didn't always work and some of them have recalled under hypnotism. Level 7 is even worse with thousands of human experiments and embryonic humans and mixtures in cold storage or frozen. They froze them when they died for experiments later on, or to find out what went wrong. Medical laboratories have big jars with embryos and pieces of people sitting there in formaldehyde.